PA Parenting is brought to you by Richmond Pediatric Dentistry and Orthodontics. A Palatan couple wants to bring everyone to be able to play, so they are committed to building an inclusive playground at Independence Golf Course. Sarah Bloom got a special look at the plans in this week's RVA Parenting. When they couldn't find it, they said, let's build it. Hannah and Brandon Setzer want to build a playground where kids, parents, and anyone else with disabilities who wants to play has a place to do it. Here's their story. So the space actually starts uh, at, the corner, of that at the corner of this building. And it, it may be hard to envision just looking at the tree line here, but when Hannah and Brandon Setzer look at this space in Independence, they see this. A beautiful space with swings that accommodate wheelchairs, ramps that allow anyone in, a sensory garden. It has to be a ramp that makes sense wide and flat and everything. And there is a little stream that goes through. A place where all parents, all kids, anyone can come be outside. Play is just so important, and so that obviously includes people with disabilities, kids with disabilities, and adults. I mean, there's adults that have disabilities and kids that have kids that don't have disabilities, and they deserve to play with their kids at the playground, too. Taking on a cause to support kids, play, and inclusion comes naturally for Brandon and Hannah. They fostered and adopted four growing boys. Hannah works as an advocate for people with disabilities, and you'll find her on Instagram. Being kind is really not hard. Talking about her own disabilities and inclusion. Because I think people who don't are in that world don't always know what it is like to be disabled and to go through the world as a disabled person. So yeah, definitely advocate professionally and personally all the time. Hannah and Brandon believe everyone should have access to play. And since there isn't a nearby option, they're determined to lead the charge to build it. Hannah grew up with disabilities and says she didn't meet someone who looked like her until she was 39. She wants better for her kids. Being around people that aren't like you in general is good, and that's why this is so important to us with our kids too. We want our kids to be exposed to, and to play with and learn and grow with other kids that aren't like them too. It's the fundraising project is big. They'll apply for grants and look for partners, but building this will cost millions. We just believe that it's something that needs to be done and we want to be a part of it. Independence wanted to be a part of the project too and quickly agreed their site was perfect for the project. I think it just shows the community that, you know, you can come here in any capacity. You can bring your kids to play in a playground that is for everyone. So now the work begins, planning, finding equipment, and building support to build the dream. So we are doing everything we can to make it happen. I also just got word from Hannah and Brandon that the survey work will begin soon. They signed the contract for that, and it's the first step in the project. On your side for RVA Parenting, I'm Sarah Bloom. If you want to read more about the playground,